Hi, my name is Stacy, and I'm a member of the Motor Dogs team. Today on this episode of Product Reviews, we're going to compare the Saddleman Pet Voyager to the Kiriakin Pet Palace. So let's start with the Saddleman Pet Voyager. We actually have over 10,000 kilometers traveling with our Pomeranians in this carrier. One of my favorite things about this carrier is the ventilation options. I never have to worry about the dogs not getting enough fresh air. There are multiple windows that can be opened or closed. We start with the lower window. There's one on each side for the dogs to peek in and out of. The top also zips down and can be rolled up and opened for extra ventilation. There's the top window that is fully meshed for extra air to come in and out. And then there's the front pocket. The front pocket is great if you're going to face this carrier to the rear. There's extra air that can come in for your furry babies. Now all of these windows can be opened or closed on those cold, wet, frigid days, giving you multiple options. So the next thing I really like about the Saddleman Pet Voyager is that there's multiple ways to get your pets in and out of the carrier. First of all, there is a side door for access to your pets in and out. The main entrance is from the top. Now you can either unzip the entire top and get the dogs in and out, or there's access through the ventilation window to put your pets in and out, whatever works best for you. Let's take a peek inside of the Pet Voyager. When we look inside, we notice that there is one connection point for your dog. This connection point is flexible, allowing the dogs to move a little bit back and forth. There are two hooks for security that can either be attached to one dog, or in our case, we attach one to each of our dogs that ride. The disadvantage of this connection system is the dogs often go over top of each other and get tangled. On the floor of the Pet Voyager, we have a removable pad that can be washed. As you can see, over the last 10,000 kilometers, this carrier has taken the shape of my seat. Because my seat isn't wide enough and we do carry two dogs in here, it has slightly bent in on each side. However, we use a little extra pad to give them some extra comfort. One of our biggest priorities when traveling with the Pomeranians is their security and safety. With the Saddleman Pet Voyager, I don't need to worry about the carrier going anywhere. There are two straps that securely connect the front down to the bike. And in the back, we have this band that can easily be adjusted to any size of backrest by simply fitting the bar into the right loop over, under, and secure. This pet carrier isn't going anywhere, and that takes a lot of anxiety away from traveling with your pets. The pet carrier can also be attached to your luggage rack or just to your back seat. Next, let's take a look at the Kiriakin Pet Palace. We have used this for about 5,000 kilometers with the motor dogs. So first, we're gonna look at the ventilation. There are three major ventilation windows. We have the side ventilation window. There's a ventilation from the top. There's a small ventilation window at the back. And if necessary, there's a small ventilation window in the very front. This allows you to either put the carrier on your back seat or you can use it on your luggage rack as well, allowing the air to circulate within. However, there is no ventilation window on the left-hand side as there is a cargo compartment for things like leashes and bowls and treats. 
Now, one of my favorite things about the Kiriakin is that it has a place for a water bottle. And we know that hydration for our furry babies is so important when we're traveling. We have attached our water bottle with the Kiriakin strap so that it's not gonna go anywhere and we don't need to worry that we're going to lose it. There's also a cargo compartment in front that we can use to put in our leashes, the goggles, anything that our little dogs need. When it comes to putting our dogs into the Kiriakin, there are two options. There's the small window on top that we can use with our smaller dogs, or we can open up the whole top panel and have easy access to the entire carrier. There are two connection straps and they are in opposite ends and they are static. This allows us to hook two dogs up and they will not cross over and get tangled with each other. Or you can use the straps, of course, to hook up just the one dog securely. On the very bottom of our Kiriakin Pet Palace, we have a washable pad. This one is durable, it's nice and hard, but still very soft for their comfort. There are two ways to connect your Kiriakin Pet Palace to your bike. We use it on the back seat. The straps secure it in the front so it's not gonna fly off, and there are straps on the back that will secure it to your backrest. My favorite part about the straps on the backrest are the clips. They're easy to connect, so this pet carrier can be put on very, very quickly for your convenience. The pet palace can also be connected to a luggage rack if you have one of those on your bike. It's very durable. It's made out of hard shell material. No need and no worry about the security of your dogs. After using both of these pet carriers, we recommend either one. They are both very good products. The favorite part about the Saddleman is the ventilation. I never need to worry about airflow around the dogs. I also get peace of mind from the wrap around the backrest, knowing the dogs are securely attached to my bike. However, if you have larger dogs or you have multiple dogs, we suggest the Kiriakin. It is a bit larger, plus it has two connection points, preventing the dogs from tangling with one another. We also feel the pocket for the water bottle is a very nice touch. The Kiriakin is a bit more expensive than the Saddleman. If you have any questions or have suggestions of future product reviews, please comment below. We would love to hear from you.